All right, I'm going to show you how to make an audio slideshow in iMovie. So on my desktop here, I have a folder full of pictures and I have an MP3 file of an edited interview I've done. So I've already edited this interview in Audacity or you could edit it in any program and exported it as an MP3. So uh, I assume that you've already edited your audio in this case. Uh, I have other video tutorials on how to use Audacity. So we're going to launch iMovie and we're going to go create a new project. I'm going to call this Birds Audio Slideshow. Save it on my desktop. I'm choosing HDV 720p. I just think it's a good size for an audio slideshow. Hit create. And there you see it created a new project file on my desktop. So I'm going to go so now it's empty. There's no pictures or audio here. I'm going to go File, Import. I'm going to find that folder on my desktop full of pictures. And I'm either going to click and select all of them, or my keyboard hit Command A. Hit Open. And it imports all of them. Now I can uh, kind of do a quick storyboard almost. Say this here is a picture I made in Photoshop. I could take this and drag it down to the bottom. And this one here is first. I, I made this in Photoshop as well. I just took a picture and made it black and white and added text. So this is kind of say the order I wanted my pictures to go in. I select the first one and on my keyboard hit Command A to, to highlight them all. And I click and I drag them down into my timeline. There we go. Now I need my audio. So I go File, Import, Go to my desktop, find that mp3 file, hit open, and blammo, there's my audio file underneath the pictures. I can see here I have a couple too many pictures. I can click at the edge of pictures and I can re-change re the length of them to make them shorter. As well, I could click on a picture like this and I can move it, maybe move this one to here, change the order. Or say I just didn't want say I didn't want this photo here. I just highlight it and hit the delete key on my keyboard. So say this one here, I'll take this one out and maybe make this one shorter and make this one shorter. And there we go. So there, say that's my audio slideshow, it's done. All my pictures and my audio. I click up here and hit play. So so uh, there we can, there's my auto slideshow. So I'm gonna go File, Save Project. And now I'm, I need to export because the project is saved inside of iMovie, but I need to export a finished video. So I'm gonna go to File, Export, select QuickTime up here, and then compress for Expert Settings, Share. Now export movie to QuickTime Movie, hit Options, and now here's the settings that I want. I'm going to go Settings, Compressions, H.264. Uh, keyframes, every, you could leave it at the default, or usually I set it to automatic. Data rate, restrict to 5,000. And leave it at multi-pass. Unless you're in a real hurry, you can put it to single pass. Uh, you probably won't be able to tell the, the difference in quality. I always say, I usually do single pass because I'm always in a hurry, but if you can go for a coffee, put it on multi-pass. Hit OK. Go here to size. I want size to be 1280 by 720. Hit OK. And uh, sound, AAC. Leave it at 48. Um, 128 kilobit. Make note that uh, if your audio is in mono, if it's just one person talking, well, the human voice is mono, so stereo might be overkill. You can usually put it to mono if you want. But stereo is fine. Uh, and leave it at fast start. OK. Now, save this to our desktop. I'm going to call this Edit 720p, just so that I know that this is the edited version and it's exported as high def. Hit save. Let this thing chug along for a minute. And uh, there we go. On our desktop, we have an edited file. 
there we go. And we get this file is ready to upload into YouTube and it will uh, be reformatted on YouTube to be in HD. You can watch it in 720p. So that's the end.